Hey, what's up? It's Jared. Today I wanted to talk about Notion versus Todoist and which is better for task management. Now, I obviously use both Notion and Todoist at the time that I'm recording this. I've recently released a video on how I use Todoist, and I have a variety of videos talking about the different ways that I use Notion. But as far as managing my tasks and projects, I use both of them for different reasons, and I wanted to talk about that here. Now, you and the way that you work, you may only need one of these. You might not need both Notion and Todoist. And that's kind of this discussion that I wanted to have today is in and around what each is good for in regards to task management and why you might lean on one versus the other uh, for your specific task management. So I've talked a lot about why I use Notion and how I use Notion. I definitely manage my projects in Notion because there's a lot more granularity there. I'm able to put a lot more information into a project in Notion and organize it and see where I'm at in the grander scheme of things on that particular project. But as far as managing specific tasks, the process of getting tasks into Notion is really kind of a pain. There's no really easy way to do that. Whereas with Todoist, it integrates with so many different things and it is so easy to add tasks to Todoist that it is something that I just can't replace with, with Notion. So even the automated process, which I've talked about in my video on how I use Notion, of when I have a request that comes in from a client, that being automatically added as a task in Todoist without me having to do anything is super awesome. So when a client of mine has a request, they need something changed on perhaps one of their websites through my company Hill Media Group, they send in that request. It's going to send it to me by email so that I have that, but it's also going to add it as a task to Todoist so that I could check it out. Sometimes emails get lost or they you fall behind in your email, but if it's automatically added to Todoist and it's given a date and a time that I need to complete it by, and these are all things that I can automate through connections with Zapier then it's in my list and I don't lose out on that. We get so many emails, it's easy for things to get lost. And if you are leaving things in your inbox to hopefully find again later, that also is a method that doesn't work out too well. You've probably forgotten some things that were in your inbox. And so if I can automate the process, then that's great. I cannot automate the addition of tasks in that way to Notion, unfortunately. I wish that I could. And when they build out an API and have all of that stuff available, then I probably will be able to. But for now, the process of getting those tasks into Notion is too challenging. And so the automated process of getting them into Todoist or the simpler process of manually entering them into Todoist is where I lean right now. So that also means that there isn't really any communication going on between Todoist and Notion, which is also kind of a bummer. When I complete tasks in Todoist, it doesn't update Notion, which is kind of a bummer. I definitely want to have tracking in Notion of the tasks that I complete. So the process of manually putting the tasks as completed in Notion may seem like double the work. Why would I use Notion and keep track of tasks in Notion when I'm keeping track of them in Todoist? Well, Todoist doesn't have a very easy way to go back and look at completed tasks and projects. You can go and look at things that were completed, kind of your list of all of your completed tasks. But once you complete a task, it takes it out of the project that you had it in and it's completed now. If there's no real easy way for you to go and look at all completed tasks and also look at the information that you might have added to that task so that if you need to recall it later, you have that follow-up information or whatever it is that you completed. Maybe it was the amount of time you spent on it or something like that. So I keep track of all of that stuff in Notion. But the reason that I'm not managing my tasks specifically in Notion is because of the input process. For me, the input process is the bottleneck that tends to get in the way of me having tasks that are entered, that are given a date and a time that need to be completed so that I can get them done. The process of them getting added to some sort of a system has to be simple and it has to be automated if at all possible. And Todoist, I can do that. In Notion, I cannot. So right now I utilize both of those systems for that purpose. And then I will go and update the projects with the things that I've completed later on in Notion so that I have the history of the tasks that have been completed and stuff like that. I've made it very simple 
in Notion for me to update those things so that I can keep that list of completed tasks, including the amount of time that I worked on them, and anything that I might want to have on hand as part of that history of the completed tasks in Notion. So you could say that I'm pretty much just using Todoist as a tool that reminds me to get things done when they need to be done, and that is pretty much why I'm using Todoist. It's easy to get stuff in, it's easy to set date and time, it's easy to get those reminders that they need to be done, and it's easy to check them off when they're done. So that's what Todoist does, that's what it does well. And I talked about that all in my video on how I use Todoist. So when it comes to choosing like which one might be better, it really depends on how you deal with tasks. If you are fine with manually entering your tasks and you want granular control over those tasks, Notion might be the best option for you. I definitely see a lot of people using Notion for their task management, and I can tell in, in what they're sharing online based on their personalities that they definitely, that, that works well for them. But for me, uh, and there are other people out there as well, are utilizing another system besides Notion like Todoist or a variety of other task manager apps that are out there so that they can quickly get their tasks in place so that they can have an, an easy to view something that is unobstructed with a bunch of other stuff, a nice task view so that they can just focus on getting things done. Because I don't know, maybe you're a little bit more of a distractible person like I am. I definitely talked a little bit about this in my five minute rule on how to avoid procrastination. So you might want to check that out. So for me, it works best to use both. I do think that Todoist is better as far as a task manager, but as far as getting a little more granule by having a history of those tasks, by having those be part of projects, that is something that Notion does much better if you set it up right. So I definitely like talking about topics like this and figuring these processes out so that I could better streamline my own life and then sharing those things with all of you so that you can better streamline your own life or help build systems and frameworks that help you achieve more. So if you like that, definitely click on that subscribe button, whether you're watching this on YouTube or listening on the podcast. I would love to have you subscribe uh, on both so that you're getting notified when I put things out. So uh, please subscribe both to the podcast and to the YouTube channel so that you can consume what I'm sharing in the best method that works for you. But that's gonna do it for today. Thanks so much for checking out this video or the podcast. I appreciate you being here. Subscribe so I can see you in the next one. But until then, take care.